Hi, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Halloween. Some of you may not even be on this live right now. I don't know. I, I was thinking about not doing this tonight, but I made a commitment last night that I would be doing a live every day with just some downloads I've gotten over the last 48 hours. And I figured not everybody has kids that are they're taking them out trick-or-treating. Maybe, maybe not, but I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to share on this topic that is one of many that I've downloaded over the weekend. And isn't it fun for all of us to get downloads? Just kind of where you're in this state of just being really present, being really grounded, being really just aware. And that's often where you get the most creative downloads, the things that amp you up, amp up your frequency, amp up your impact, amp up the desires of your heart, amp up ways that you can serve in a more powerful way is when you get really quiet and you get an opportunity to just create this moment of downloads. When I get in that moment, which I was this weekend, this past weekend, I just start writing things down because I know I'm going to forget them later. You guys, I'm on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. So if it looks like I'm like looking around, that's why. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being on. Thank you for being present because this is a big topic we're talking about tonight. And um, I'm just excited that you're here. So if you are here, drop in where you're coming from. Tell me a little bit about you. If you're watching the recording, let me know how it resonated with you. If you've got any ahas from it, I'm here to serve. So for those of you that don't know me that well, I just wanted to get on and just introduce myself a little bit. I'm Jennifer Watson, and I'm a high-performance leadership coach and speaker, and I love to help high performing leaders and entrepreneurs just tap in to their leadership essence to really create and accelerate their prosperity, their performance, their their deeper purpose that they want to bring to the world. And it's such a joy that I have. And it's it's something that God has put on my heart to continue to give in that way. And until he tells me to stop, boyfriend, girlfriend, I'm going to keep going. So um, such an honor that you're here. And again, I'm really excited about this topic tonight. So again, happy Halloween. I don't even have an outfit on. Usually I'll dress up, but today it's just a bad hair day. So I'll apologize for that. It's the end of the day. <laughs> oh man, so good to see all of you. I just want to settle in with all of you. I'm up for questions during this live as well. This is such an important topic tonight. And what are we talking about? Have you taken, are you willing to take your eight seconds on the bull? How many have heard about bull riding in that many of the bull riders, their goal is to be on at least a minimum of eight seconds and that adds to points and ultimately them winning and all this different stuff. And there's a lot of different dynamics that go to being eight seconds on the bull, but it's a long time to be on a bull if anybody knows that. And the reason why that is a phrase I want to use tonight, I grew up um, in Montana. I went to rodeos. I saw bull riders ride the eight seconds. It was so cool to see them like just stay on this bull. But I really want you guys to think about how this applies to you, the symbolism of the bull rider and really thinking about, are you daily taking your eight seconds on the bull? Are you not doing it? And why are you not taking your eight seconds on the bull? When I say, are you taking your eight seconds on the bull? This is something that you really want in your life, but you are maybe a scared to get on the bull, <laughs> that you're afraid of this window of opportunity of, wow, I don't know if I can do this. I may fall off symbolically. I don't care if it's you want to ask a guy out or a girl out that you've been dying to ask out, but gosh, you're like, you're afraid to get on that bull, that eight seconds and, and find out if, if you're going to be able to stay on, or you're going to fall off. Maybe it's something in your business that you want to step into that you're afraid of stepping into because you think you may fail. Maybe it's a conversation that you want to have with a family member that is a tough conversation, but you know, if you do it, it could go well or it could go south. You guys, this applies to anything in your life that's on your heart to do, but you're kind of afraid of doing it. You're, you're afraid of doing it. And this whole concept of 
Why are you waiting? Why are you not taking the eight seconds on the ball? Are you doing that with things in your life that matter most to you? Things in your life that you have a passion for, that you want to take a leap in? Things in your life that you know potentially you could, quote, fall off or fail. Why are you not doing it? Okay. Many times when we're willing, everyone, to take our eight seconds on the ball to just step in and not think about the consequences, step in, not think about if we're going to fail or not, because we just know, because we just know, because we just know we need to do it. If we actually do that, what a powerful moment for you. Many of the things on the other, are on the other side of getting eight seconds on the bowl, everyone. And guess what? <laughs> guess what? When you get on that bowl, you guys, Think about the bull rider. Even if they win and they stay eight seconds on the bull, they actually finally jump off. They fall off because they're done riding the bull. They're still going to fall off even when they succeed. If you guys can think of it that way, really let this settle in symbolically what it means to step in courageously into something you desire, into something that you envision yourself doing. That's just sitting in your head, your hamster wheeling, saying, do it, do it, do it. If you take your eight seconds on the bull, even if you succeed, you're still going to fall off <laughs> every once in a while or maybe the next time. But are you willing to get back on? The bull rider is. The bull rider is willing to get back on even if he falls off every single time because the one moment he stays on eight seconds, he wins, but then he still falls off. He's still going to jump off. It's still going to happen. You guys think about that. Let that really, really, really settle in. What is something in your life that you're like, Jennifer, I want to try. I want to get in on that eight seconds. Even if, if I fail, I know if I don't do it, I'll regret it. What is it? Write it down right now. Share it. Share it in the comments, everyone. What is something right now that you're scared to do that you think you're going to fall off? But you know, if you don't do it, you're going to regret that you didn't get on the ball. Think about what that is and make a commitment to yourself this week that you're going to do it. You're going to step, make one step even into um, getting on that ball. And know this concept, everybody, know this concept that even the bull riders that get on the bull and stay on eight seconds and win, jump off, fall off, get off, and then have to do it again. So no matter what the outcome is of the thing that you're like, oh, I know I need to do the eight seconds on the bull, Jennifer. Even if you don't know if you will win or lose, just like the bull rider doesn't know it, he still wins. He gets on and he tries over and over again. And even eight seconds, he ends up falling off. Sooner or later, during the goals that you have, the visions, the plans, the actions that you take every day to make things happen, you will fall off, you guys. There's so much beauty in getting back on, but knowing that you took your eight seconds. You guys, I believe that you lose opportunities. Okay, I'm just going to say it. You, This eight second opportunity getting on the bowl, I believe is true. How many of you have experienced that I need to say this to someone right now and you feel like you lost the moment or you lost the courage to jump off the cliff into the water, right? Like there's this window of opportunity or this window of asking for an investment for your company or doing something scary in your business. There is this window, you guys, and it is a short window. It is an eight second window. It passes if you don't nat, nat, lat, or excuse me, nat, latch onto it. I can't even speak tonight. Latch onto it. Because that's the other thing I want you to get is not only write down what you know that is scary and you want to take your eight seconds in and step into that this week. Message me. Let me know how that goes. But also know this eight seconds symbolizes this window of opportunity that does pass. Now, you guys, that doesn't mean it passes forever and maybe something doesn't come up in a different way down the road. 100%. And I do believe in that. But the more we give up opportunities, these windows that we all have this gut instinct, this beautiful instinct like, yes. I need to do that. Yes, I need to say yes to that. Yes, I need to go on that. Yes, I need to take that risk. It's the short window. We all have experienced it where we didn't do and we're like, oh, how many of you want to have more experiences 
where you listen to that nudge, of step in, jump on, hop on to that bowl. How many of you want to have more experiences like that versus I should have done it? I lost that opportunity. It doesn't mean opportunities don't come back around, but sometimes some don't, you guys. The, the universe, the creator, God is, is giving you opportunities every day to step in to something that you desire, but it will be scary at first. Whether you call them tests, whether you call them opportunities or events that happen during your day, we see this all the time everyone. What is this bowl you need to get on? What is your eight seconds of bowl writing that, that you need to get on that you've put off? Put it, drop it down in the comments. Let me know what that is. And what are you going to do this week to step in, to make one step in getting on that bowl, you guys? What are some opportunities over the last several weeks, several months that maybe you missed because you didn't take that window of opportunity? Get up on that bowl. Get your eight seconds. You guys, the great news is, is even if you fall off the bowl purposely when the bull rider wins after eight seconds or he doesn't make it to eight seconds, you can get back on. Which is worse, not getting on the bowl or continue to regret these windows of opportunity that happen? In these short periods of time during our day, these microseconds, these eight seconds of should I do that, should I not? I'm going to encourage you this week to not only say yes to that 80, 90% of the time, but think of something you want to take your eight seconds in and do it this week, you guys. Message me. Connect with me. Let me know how that goes. Take your eight seconds on the bowl on something you desire. Be aware of opportunities during your work week, of your intuition, of your soul space saying, yes, do it. Yes, do it. Don't miss that opportunity. And you guys, when you get that opportunity and you jump and you get that eight seconds on the bowl, how many of you have already had that experience when you take that leap? Something beautiful happens to you. Your impact is expanded. The people you connect with see the real you, the courageous you, and give you give them courage to do the same. You grow as a person. You learn more when you jump on that ball. How many of you need to step back today and realize, man, Jennifer, I, I haven't taken my eight seconds on the ball. You know, I mentioned yesterday during a live that my mother lost her best friend on Saturday. Best friend. You know, at the end of someone's life, they often look at regrets like, what did they not take a risk and what did they not jump on the bull with, you guys? At the end of this life, I want to know that I took my eight seconds on the bull, whether I fell or not, or succeeded at the time or not. If I'm passionate about it, it is on my heart, it is in my head to do, I'm going to do it. I'm going to challenge you guys this week to take your eight seconds on the bowl. If you've noticed you haven't done that, oh man, the good's on the other side. You learn or you win, even when you fall off. You learn or you win. You stay on the bowl, you win. You fall off, you learn, and then you win later, right? Understand, everyone, when you continue to bet on you, when you continue to take your eight seconds on that bowl and something you desire that you're afraid of, even if it's just eight seconds, even if it's just something small, the creator responds and thanks you for it. And it gives you another opportunity. And then you grow more and then you come closer to your goal and closer to your vision and closer to the desire of something that you want. Stay in integrity with staying on that bowl, you guys. Do you know how many times I have face planted <laughs> with my eight seconds on the bowl and people have seen it happen to me? And it was hard, you guys. It was so hard. It's so hard to face plant. It is so hard to face plant. I have my cowboy boots on today. My eight seconds on the bowl. Okay, you guys. I've taken eight seconds on the bowl a lot. I've done that a lot in the last couple of years and I've grown so much from it. What are you going to do today with your eight seconds on the bowl? Are you going to get off? Are you going to say, I'm waiting for the next window of opportunity? 
that may or may not come again? Are you going to step in and give yourself this momentum, give you, yourself this opportunity to move into the space of trusting yourself more? Remember the ball. Remember the cowboy on the ball. At eight seconds, he still falls off that bowl, you guys. Whether he wins or not, he's getting off. But he's getting back on again and again and again. Why have you not taken your eight seconds on the bowl and something you desire? And what are you committed to this week? Drop it in the DMs here. Drop it in the messages. Let me know right now. I'll hold you accountable. What are you going to get eight seconds on the bowl in? What scares the bejesus out of you? that you know you need to do, that eight second window that says, yes, yes, yes. That's your soul spirit. That's your intuition bringing the creator into you to say, let's dance. Let's get on that ball. Message me, let me know how that goes. The reward of getting that eight seconds on your ball is so profound. The learning that you get, the vision that gets more clear, the confidence you get on getting up over and over again. It just becomes this dance. It's not even a big deal that you fall. Do you know how many times I have failed? Fail. My coach has seen me fail. My friends have seen me fail. They've also seen a lot of victory. They've seen me. You know how many friends say to me, yes, Jennifer has gotten on that bowl. She's done her eight seconds. And you guys, that by far, my friends, is the, the best compliment you could ever give me. More than the successes, knowing that I'm in it, <laughs> that I'm in this ride, that I'm in this, this dance with the bowl that I'm running, I'm running hard, I'm running straight, I'm running toward this vision that I'm so excited for and I'm willing to step into that bowl experience. Are you, my friend, are you willing to do that? So that that's something I'm gonna challenge you to do. Thank you so much, everyone, for being a part tonight. Let me know if this resonated with you. Drop it again in the DMs. What are you committed to to step in and get on the bowl? Your eight seconds of courage. And let me know how that goes. Share this with a friend if this resonated with you. I want to see you guys get on your bowl and ride it. Ride it, my friend. It's an experience. It's a beautiful experience. I love all of you. You're truly my best day. Happy Halloween. Go out there, have some candy, be out with those kiddos, enjoy the night. And thank you so much. It's such a blessing to have all of you here today. And I will see you tomorrow night with my next download. Much love to all of you. Mwah.